Today on our world, we're gonna learn about... Globy, what are you wearing? X-ray glasses. You know those things don't actually work, right? I know, I know, I'd like to have X-ray vision too. But there is a space telescope that actually does have X-ray vision. The Chandra X-ray Observatory. This state-of-the-art space telescope observes X-rays to help us learn new things about our universe. So what is an X-ray? It's a type of light that has a really short wavelength. Visible light, or the light we can see, has a wavelength that looks like this. X-ray wavelengths are much shorter. This short wavelength allows the X-ray to pass through many objects. That's why doctors use X-rays to look at broken bones. X-rays pass through our skin. The X-rays, however, are stopped by the bone. X-ray film can be used to detect the X-rays and the shadow of the things the X-rays cannot pass through. When you go to the dentist, X-ray pictures are taken so the dentist can see what's happening inside your teeth. X-ray telescopes can be used in a similar way, to look at shadows caused by clouds of dust and gas in space. But usually they are used to look at X-ray machines in the universe, such as hot gas produced by the explosion of a star, to see the kind of light that isn't visible with a regular camera. The Chandra X-ray Observatory is named after an astrophysicist, Subramanya Chandra Sekhar, or Chandra for short. Chandra made new discoveries on how and why stars change. He was one of the first scientists to combine physics, the study of matter and how it moves, with astronomy, the study of objects in the universe. He was awarded the Nobel Prize for his study of stars. The Chandra X-ray Observatory was launched in 1999. It allows NASA scientists to get a whole new view of the universe, kind of like looking out into space with a pair of X-ray glasses. Stars and other matter in space give off X-rays under certain violent conditions. Scientists can now observe what it looks like when galaxies collide or supernovas explode. Seeing these hot spots in the universe gives scientists information they could never get from taking regular pictures. So why can the Chandra X-ray telescope capture such brilliant images? Chandra is the best X-ray imaging telescope ever built. Its power is like being able to read a stop sign at a distance of 19 kilometers. But this special telescope wouldn't work here on Earth. It had to be placed high in outer space. You see, Earth's atmosphere is thick enough that X-rays are not able to reach Earth's surface. Chandra's orbit around Earth is so big that the furthest points of the oval-shaped orbit are about one-third of the way to the moon. Even at its closest approach to Earth, Chandra's orbit is more than 200 times higher than the circular orbit of Hubble. This gives the Chandra telescope an ability to look for X-rays that are being produced by faraway objects in space in a large region of the sky without the Earth blocking its view. With the help of special mirrors and a high-resolution camera, Chandra is able to see X-rays in action. Whoa, that's some incredible X-ray vision, huh, Globy? Chandra's observations have led to important discoveries that are accumulating at a rapid rate as Chandra observes hundreds of objects each year. Observations of the collision of two huge clusters of galaxies has helped provide the best evidence yet for the existence of dark matter, a mysterious form of matter that gives off no detectable light, but is apparently the dominant form of matter in the universe. Chandra has also been used to probe the geometry of space around black holes and revealed that supermassive black holes can affect an entire galaxy. If Chandra was still alive today, I'm sure he'd be thrilled to see all the amazing information the X-ray telescope is providing us. So the next time you're at the dentist getting teeth X-rays, think about the Chandra X-ray Observatory, giving us the inside look at X-ray machines of the universe.